Hello, and welcome to Hylion's third quarter 2023 earnings call. I appreciate everyone joining us today for a business update and third quarter financial report. Last month, we announced that with the support of strategic expert advisors, we were exploring a range of strategic options for our powertrain business, including engaging with a number of strategic and private equity partners regarding a possible sale or industry merger. In parallel, we also engaged industry experts to help us evaluate the market opportunity and competitiveness of the Carnot generator. As a result, today we are announcing that we have decided, with the support of our board of directors, to wind down the powertrain business while preserving the technology for potential later use or sale. Going forward, we will focus the company's capital resources and efforts on our Carnot generator business, an innovative new generator solution. Although this is a difficult decision to make, it is a decision we believe to be in the best interest of the company and its shareholders. We are proud of the progress we've made with the development of our Hypertruck ERX powertrain. As we have regularly publicized, we have made consistent progress achieving the development milestones that we laid out almost two years ago. In fact, with the recent receipt of CARB certification, the beginning of extended fleet trials with customers, and building of production trucks, we have completed all the prerequisite steps on our path to commercializing our Hypertruck ERX powertrain. Since I founded the company, Hylion's mission has been to provide innovative solutions that reduce emissions from semi-trucks, which was in line with the interest from fleets in adopting electrified trucks and with the development we've accomplished to date. Despite this progress, the environment for companies in the electrified commercial vehicle space has become challenging. Slower than initially expected fleet adoption of electrified vehicles, higher component costs, and evolving regulatory frameworks have put significant pressure on companies like Hylion. As an example, I was recently speaking with a fleet owner who shared that the cost to buy a conventional natural gas truck has increased by around 45% in the past few years. We have seen increases for nearly all powertrain parts, some by more than $10,000 each. While this is partly due to inflation, it is also driven by the limited number of suppliers and low production volumes for key components as a result of the immature nature of the electrified powertrain market. Last June, at our investor event, we described additional development work that was necessary to align with changes to the regulatory environment. This included integrating and obtaining CARB certification for the new Cummins 15-liter natural gas engine, developing a day cab variant of the Hypertruck ERX powertrain, and reducing the cost and weight of our powertrain. While we believe our electric powertrain is the right solution for long-haul trucking and avoids some of the hurdles associated with other electric solutions, such as charging infrastructure, range anxiety, and the high cost of hydrogen, we are now faced with an adoption cycle that is longer than we expected, as fleets are delaying orders until mandates force the adoption of electric trucks. The primary one being CARB ACF, which starts in 2027 and requires additional investment and expense, such as integrating into a day cab and a new engine. Given these various reasons, it is clear that further development of our powertrain business would require us to raise additional capital at some point, partly driven by higher interest rates, but also due to the recognition of the industry challenges I have described, our third-party experts have advised that the capital markets are not currently supportive of additional fundraising by companies developing electric commercial vehicles. This has caused financial difficulties for many companies, and some, including Proterra, Lordstown, ELMS, and recently Volta Trucks, have entered bankruptcy. Therefore, we believe it is important to act now, while we are in a position of financial strength, to discontinue spending on the powertrain segment of our business. John will discuss the impact of the wind down of powertrain later in the presentation, but I want to shift to discussion now on our Carnot generator business and the go-forward plan. Our goal with Carnot has been to develop and commercialize the generator to address the growing demand for electricity with a distributed generator solution that offers clean, efficient, and cost-effective electricity. 
Carno is an innovative new solution that is powered by a linear heat generator and enabled by recent advancements in additive manufacturing. When we initially acquired the Carno technology, we saw it as a strong solution for both our hypertruck powertrain as well as the stationary market. Our team has successfully showcased both the vehicle integration and the Carno's ability to work in a stationary application by providing power back to the grid. As we look at the opportunities ahead, the Carno generator in the stationary market has become even more compelling due to its standalone nature and ability to address customers' ever-increasing electricity needs. Commercial fleets that have expressed interest in BEV vehicles are discovering that they are not able to secure sufficient electric power for their recharging infrastructure, and when they do, they are faced with significant capital investments, long lead times, and often encounter above-market electricity rates and incremental demand charges. Our Carnot generator is currently being configured to solve each of these issues. It is important to highlight that the Carnot generator is unlike conventional internal combustion or gas turbine-driven generators. Powered by a heat engine, the Carnot generator has distinct benefits compared to its conventional counterparts. These benefits include greater efficiency across a broad range of power output levels, lower maintenance costs, high power density, less noise and vibration, and the ability to operate on a broad range of fuel sources, including hydrogen, natural gas, ammonia, propane, and conventional fuels. Carnot utilizes a proprietary flameless oxidation technology that results in significantly lower emissions compared to conventional generators. We expect its efficiency to surpass conventional generating systems when employing various fuel sources and even outperforming fuel cell efficiency when operating on hydrogen while generating no carbon emissions. We believe the Carnot generator can compete across a broad range of prime power applications operating as a substitute for or as a supplement to grid power. We also believe it can compete in markets providing supplemental or backup power such as peak shaving, electric vehicle charging, or renewables matching. Its ability to operate on a range of fuels, fuel mixtures, or even fuels with impurities is another advantage that enables it to convert waste gases such as flare gas or landfill gas into usable electricity. Over the past couple of years, we have made significant advancements in its development as we prepare for initial commercial deployments later next year. Recently, we highlighted a major achievement of successfully returning power back into the electric grid from our facility in Ohio using a Carnot generator unit. In recent months, we have been showcasing Carnot technology to potential customers. Through these discussions, we are garnering valuable insights on how the Carnot generator can address many of the pain points customers face with grid power. One example is maintenance costs. Internal combustion generators require frequent maintenance, like oil changes, that require downtime and technician support. In contrast, the Carnot generator has no oil or lubricants, and with only one moving part per shaft, we expect maintenance to be significantly reduced. As we continue these customer showcases, we expect to announce soon that several of these companies will take deliveries of initial Carnot units next year. As we wind down the powertrain business and preserve the technology for potential later use, we have an opportunity to shift certain employees and technology to Carnot development. As an example, the cloud and infrastructure we have developed to capture and analyze vehicle data is readily adaptable for use in systems supporting Carnot generator controls and monitoring. The Hylion Drive processor, which is used on the vehicle for connectivity and advanced algorithms, can similarly be adapted to the Carnot technology. We also see significant overlap in electric architectures and battery systems. We plan to maintain operations in Austin, Texas and Cincinnati, Ohio. Austin will remain our headquarters and will assume more activities related to the industrialization of the Carnot generator and software development. The Ohio team will maintain its focus on R&D technology. As we transition the focus on Carno, we will be able to significantly reduce the amount of cash spent on the business. John will provide financial details, but I want to highlight our initial expectations. 
We continue to have a strong balance sheet with $324 million of available capital at the close of the third quarter. Our projection for the full year is to have spent $137 million in 2023, leaving us approximately $285 million at year end. For 2024, we expect our cash burn to be reduced to approximately $40 million, or a 70% reduction. Our strong capital position gives us financial flexibility well into the future as we begin commercial deployments of our Carno generator technology next year. I will now turn the call over to John to provide a financial update. Thank you, Thomas, and good afternoon. Starting with our financial results for the quarter, we reported 96000 in revenue from sales of hybrid systems. Operating expenses totaled $33.3 million compared to $62.9 million in the prior year quarter, which included a one-time charge of $28.8 million related to the purchase of Carnot last year. Excluding this charge, expenses in 2022 were $34.1 million. Using this more comparable basis, total expenses were down about a million dollars in the third quarter, driven by a two million reduction in SG&A expenses, partly offset by a million dollar increase in R&D expense. Total cash consumed in the third quarter was about 31 million, compared to 45 million in the third quarter of 2022, including 15 million of cash that was paid as part of the Carno acquisition, and compared to cash spend of 31 million in the second quarter of this year. We finished the third quarter with $324 million of cash, short-term and long-term investments on our balance sheet. I want to remind everyone that we maintain a significant share of our capital in longer-term investments to take advantage of higher interest rates on longer-dated securities. For example, we currently have about 43% of our capital, or $141 million, categorized as long-term investments. For the first nine months of 2023, revenue from hybrid-related sales was 672000 down about 300000 compared to the first nine months of 2022. Year-to-date operating expenses in 2023 were $103.7 million compared to $120.8 million for the same period in 2022, or $92 million excluding the Carno acquisition charge. Year-to-date SG&A expenses were down about $2 million and R&D expenses, excluding the Carnot charge, were up about $14 million. This increase is entirely due to the expensing of powertrain components that were purchased for the first 30 production trucks that we previously planned to sell to customers this year. Most of the cost and cash expenditures we expect for the wind-down of powertrain will be incurred in the fourth quarter of this year, including payments made for truck chassis and other components for the initial 30 production trucks. We estimate that total expenses for the fourth quarter will be around $35 million, including expenses that will be incurred to recognize future payments for contractual component purchases, employee severance agreements, and other expenses related to the wind down of the powertrain business. Total operating expenses for the year will be approximately $140 million, including expenses for discontinued operations. This is a little higher than our previous guidance of $130 million because of the additional powertrain wind-down costs. We expect to finish the year with a total cash and investment balance of around $285 million, or about $10 million higher than our previous guidance, even though we expect no revenue from Hypertruck, ERX, or hybrid systems for the rest of the year. We expect to begin receiving payments from customers for early Carnot generator stationary deployments in late 2024. And, as Thomas noted, we expect a significant decrease in our cash spending after we wind down powertrain operations. We estimate that total cash expenditures will drop from approximately $137 million this year to approximately $40 million next year. This amount excludes some cash expenditures for powertrain wind-down activities that we will incur in 2024 and potential proceeds from powertrain asset sales. It is important to note that with the cash and investments we have on hand today, along with a slower burn rate for Carno development, we expect to be able to commercialize the Carno generator business without the need to raise additional capital. To provide investors with more details on our future plans, we will be hosting a technology fireside chat later this quarter to further highlight 
the unique capabilities of the Carnot generator, business opportunities for near and long-term deployments, and key development milestones. We will update you about this event in the coming weeks. With that, I will turn the call back over to Thomas for closing remarks. I want to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the entire Hylion team that has worked tirelessly and passionately on our powertrain solutions. The development of these products has taken great effort, many long nights, and exceptional dedication from our extremely talented team. We take great pride that trucks outfitted with our Hypertruck ERX powertrain have been on the road logging thousands of miles with great success. During extended fleet trials, we received overwhelmingly positive feedback about our powertrain's performance. We have not had a single truck breakdown, and a fleet was able to drive over 1,000 miles in a day, which speaks to the great potential of this technology and the robustness of the product. This is the reason we plan to maintain the technology for potential later use or sale. Although we are confident that the winding down of the powertrain business is the right move at this time, we are preserving the technology such that if the opportunity arises in the future, it may be reintroduced and utilized to its full potential as the industry matures. For now, we look forward to the great potential of the Carnot generator. Now we will take your questions. 